It is an apocalyptic scene. Skeletal trees with their fruit charred as they hang. No one has ever seen fires like these before. They came with little warning, leaving people stunned with everything lost. Even the dead weren't spared from the flames. Home and hearth fit now only for demolition. These are the consequences of an overheated world. A children's playground melted by the intense heat. Those who played here may well wonder what the future holds in this changing world. This will be the future, say the scientists, unless something is done. And this, they say, is just a hint of what could be to come. Humanity has lit the fuse, and humanity must put it out before it's too late. I talked to 65-year-old farmer Bilal Okudan. He tells me the only clothes he has left are the ones he's standing in. We lost everything. There is nothing left of our house. It's the same for our neighbors. Zero. The tractor, the hoe, the shovel. Every tool we had is gone. Everything we built up in 70 to 80 years is gone. All of it disappeared in 20 minutes. It came and went like a sea wave. From Turkey to Greece, it's been a furious fight against the fires. Extraordinary temperatures sparking the tragedy. In all these regions, wildfires happen every year, but never on this scale. It's the same in Northern California, where fires are blazing over hundreds of square kilometers, destroying communities. Across the world, extreme weather is building in ferocity. Just last month, unprecedented floods in Germany and Belgium devastated towns and swept away roads. More than 200 were killed, with many still missing. And the science shows it's fossil fuel emissions that have made these events worse. Man-made climate change. The truth is, this is a story that people don't really want to hear. The reality, perhaps, too much for people to deal with, to take in. But what's becoming increasingly clear is that the consequences of doing nothing at all is infinitely worse for everybody. Uzjan Dogan has been helping with the rescue effort here in southern Turkey. He says the fires were sparked after months of drought, followed by an intense heat wave. Antalya is famous for its uh, long-lasting rains. And these last years, there is no rains. In uh, this year, in uh, mass, in April and in May, there was clearly no sign of rain. And this is the result. And then, just like that, as we're heading back from filming, this happens. Yeah. And the sky opens. A deluge of rain cascades down, dousing a parched land. The rain just as unpredictable as the fires. And two weeks too late. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Southern Turkey.